Hello grade 12s. Today we will look at examples where we determine the derivative using differential rules. This leads to determining the equation of a tangent to a curve. In our previous lessons, we learned that f dash of x is used as a notation for the derivative of a function. However, there are many other notations that are used to represent the derivative. Let's take a look at them. Here is f dash of x and this is sometimes called f prime of x. A capital letter D with the subscript x, d divided by dx, dy over dx, and d f of x over dx are other notations that are used. The correct phrase we use for all of these is the derivative of f with respect to x. Any of these notations may be used in a test or an examination so make sure you know them. Now let's look at some other examples together. Determine the derivative with respect to x of brackets 3x squared plus 8x minus 4 close brackets. There are three terms within the brackets. Let's start by finding the derivative of each term. To make this easier, let's look at the two steps we need to follow to determine the derivative of each term. Why don't you take a moment to write these down? One, we have to multiply the original power of the variable by the coefficient to obtain the new coefficient. And two, we minus one from the original power to obtain the new power of the variable. Now let's get back to the problem. To determine the derivative of 3x squared plus 8x minus 4, we will take the derivative of 3x squared followed by the derivative of 8x and then the derivative of minus 4. Let us determine the derivative of 3x squared. In the first step, we multiply the original power 2 by the coefficient 3, the coefficient. In the second step, we subtract 1 from the original power 2. Therefore, the derivative of 3x squared is equal to 6x. That was quite easy. Let's do the next term now. Applying the same two steps to determining the derivative of 8x, the new coefficient will be 1 multiplied by 8, and the new power of the variable will be 1 minus 1. Therefore, the derivative of 8x equals 8. The derivative of any constant value is 0. Let's spend a moment to explore why this is the case. Remember, any constant value has a variable with a power of 0. Therefore, minus 4 is equal to minus 4x to the power of 0. If we determine the derivative of minus 4x to the power of 0, we multiply 0, the original power of the variable, by the coefficient, and we minus 1 from the original power of the variable. This is equal to 0. Now that we have determined the derivative of each separate term, let us look at the overall answer. The derivative of 3x squared plus 8x minus 4 is equal to 6x plus 8. I'm sure that you're enjoying this part of the work and are looking forward to our next example. Well, let's get right to it. In this example, you will find that there are some steps that are necessary before we can determine the derivative. In order to determine the derivative with respect to x, we need x to a certain power. In other words, we need x as the base. Determine the derivative of 4 divided by x cubed minus the square root of x. Can you see how this one might confuse some people? x cubed is in the denominator. In order to find the derivative of the term, we need to put it into the numerator using our laws of exponents. x to the power of minus n is equal to 1 divided by x to the power of n. Therefore, 4 divided by x to the power of 3 is equal to 4 multiplied by x to the power of minus 3. The next confusing part is the square root. We need to rewrite this as an exponent. We know that the mth root of x to the power n is equal to x to the power n divided by m. Therefore, the square root of x is equal to x to the power of 1 divided by 2. 
Now let's rewrite our problem so that it's easier to work with. Therefore, the derivative of 4 divided by x cubed minus the square root of x is equal to the derivative of 4x to the power of minus 3 minus x to the power of a half. Why don't you try the rest of this on your own? The answer will be minus 12x to the power of minus 4 minus a half x to the power of minus a half. Determining the derivative by using differential rules is important in the application of calculus. In the next example, we will see how the derivative is applied in the determining of the equation of a tangent to a curve. Determine the equation of the tangent to the curve f of x equal to x squared plus 5x minus 6 at the point 2 and 8. A tangent is a straight line. In order to determine the equation of a straight line, we need two points on the line or one point and the gradient of the line. We are given the point 2, 8, so let's determine the gradient of the tangent. The gradient of f of x is equal to the derivative of f of x at the point 2 and 8. Therefore, the derivative of x squared plus 5x minus 6 is equal to 2x plus 5. In order to determine the gradient at the point 2 and 8, we substitute the x value of 2 into the gradient expression. Therefore, m, the gradient, is equal to 2 multiplied by 2 plus 5. That gives us a gradient value of 9. Our last step is to use the equation of a straight line. y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1 and substitute the value of the given point and the gradient. x1 and y1 is equal to 2 and 8 and the gradient m is equal to 9. Therefore, y minus 8 equals 9 bracket x minus 2 close bracket. y minus 8 equals 9x minus 18. Adding 8 on both sides of the equation gives us y equal to 9x minus 10. This is the equation of the tangent at the point 2, 8. We have dealt with two important aspects in this lesson. How to determine the derivative using differential rules and an application of the derivative, namely determining the equation of a tangent to a curve at a point. Thank you for joining us, Grade 12s. Remember to try the task video at the end of this series and to look at our website, www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn for more resources. Goodbye.